Here's an example of how NBC is left-wing Democrat Party propaganda. One of the things that Democrats have working against them is that the economy is booming under Trump and unemployment has been hitting record lows, including African-American unemployment. But so the Democrats and their media lapdogs are going to try and convince voters that what you're seeing isn't really happening and things that have never been worse. And how better to pull off this great deception? 5.30 a.m. Lucy Wilson gets her own kids ready. You guessed it. Find a single mother of color with kids, plural. Before she heads off to teach two dozen more. 7 a.m., the school day begins. Whose foot is this? Ever since I was a little girl, I used to play school and boss my little cousins around and play teacher with my doll babies. Ms. Wilson teaches first grade in Columbia, South Carolina, where the starting salary is $35,000 a year. In her ninth year of teaching, she makes only a little more. Nine years. Well, if she thinks it's the federal government's fault, uh, who was president for six of those nine years? Does it seem to you like the economy's doing well right now? No. Notice the question was about the economy. And yet NBC is trying to equate her salary with the economy. Well, who determines teacher salaries? Local government, not federal government. So in reality, we've got a single mother with multiple kids to support being held back by the city of Columbia, South Carolina. Can you live on a teacher's salary? Living at home with my parents? Yes, I can survive. Not living at home with my parents? I've done it. But it was very, very strict, strict budget. You know, just simple thing. How am I going to make sure my children are eating today? Yeah, you're a single mother with more than one child. That's the problem. Of course you're struggling. It's always been that way. Also, teachers only work 181 days per year. And teachers get lavish pensions and health care for life. But NBC is going to try and spin her situation into a Trump economy problem. Many Americans are struggling to make ends meet. Last year, income inequality in the U.S. was significantly higher than the year before. Four, the biggest gap ever recorded. This, this is a long-time liberal argument that NBC never challenges. For example, the size of households has decreased over the years, which skews this household income statistic. Yeah, there's more single parents like this woman. Uh, this statistic also doesn't take into account increasing government transfer programs, also doesn't factor in the value of em employer-provided health insurance, which has also increased and if you go back over the last 30 years, household income has actually increased by more than a third. Who can tell me what a connection is? Wilson won't give up teaching, but it's hard. You know, you just want to make a better living for kids. Oh, we have to vote Democrat then. That's <laughs> all. Oh, kids are suffering and it's all Trump's fault that she's a single mother with two kids. You don't want your kids to suffer. Right. This is the paradox. Trump has done all these great things, yet the people who hate Trump have been conditioned by the media to ignore the economy. Trump is evil, orange man bad. Which is why at 4 p.m. she starts the second half of her day. Is this kind of how the night goes? All night long. All night long. Yep. Working a four-hour shift at drug manufacturer Nephron Pharmaceuticals. CEO Lou Kennedy is hiring a lot. From where you sit, how's the economy right now? We're loving it. Kennedy credits the Trump tax cuts and deregulation for her company's growth. So this is called line by structure. Spend two and a half minutes talking about how depressing the economy is under Trump. Then finally, NBC gives viewers this other side of the story after they've already created a sob story that shouldn't have even been a story in the first place. January of 2018, we had roughly 425 employees. We are now managing and paying roughly 2,000 employees. Wow. 650 of those employees are the ones dressed in red. Teachers like Lucy, who sign up for part-time shifts through an app, making $21 an hour. Yeah, and how about that app? She didn't have to pay for a newspaper or waste her time scouring classified ads or mailing out resumes. People, including lower income people, are living better than ever and have more disposable income because of technology. 
created by wealthy people. Nationally, about one in six teachers works two jobs, not just in the summer, but during the school year. Oh, teachers, they, they, they only work 181 days per year. <laughs> that, that's a little less than one out of two days. You know, wouldn't you love to work Monday through Wednesday and then half of Thursday and then start your weekend? For Kennedy, that means much needed labor in a state where the unemployment rate is just 2.9%. I was thinking, where could we find a demographic quickly that is dependable, reliable, and immediately thought of the teachers? Lucy started here in March. And ever since then, it has been life-changing. It it's really has. changing Yes, like it helps out a lot, a lot. Lucy picks up factory shifts three days a week, works till about eight, spends time with her kids, and in the morning, starts all over again. She hopes to save enough to buy her own house. So that's what I'm doing, saving and praying. Saving and praying. You know, instead of praying, maybe you should have gotten a STEM degree. Then maybe you could have had two kids and be a single mom and not have to work two jobs. Lester, we're launching this series during a campaign year. There will be a lot of debate over whether this economy is stronger than ever. It is. only working for those at the top. There's more jobs than ever. What's to discuss and scratch our heads over? This is NBC trying to resist Trump. You know, what NBC should have done is a segment about how 70% of black children are born to single mothers. That's the real pressing issue here, not Trump's booming economy.